Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. How did you find a way through the unpassable ice wall? Of course, tunnels, sure. What do you call this place again? Snow Cloak. Very f***ing funny, Darren. How about next time could you find someone with a daiquiri bar, 24-hour dining, or better yet, seasonable warmth? I'm freezing my nips off here. Time to learn about Snow Cloak. Simplified. Make your way up the path until you reach the two Spriggans. Make sure you watch out for the falling ice shards as they will have medium-sized AoEs around them. Kill everything. Then pull all five wolves around the next bend. Kill everything. If you have a competent party and not AI with single-digit IQs that have no idea how to press their AoE buttons even if it bit them in the- You can pull everything from the start of the dungeon to the gate. Heavily mitigate or use your tank in Vuln and nuke it all down. After the wolves are defeated, a bear will spawn at the end of the path. When the bear is killed, it will drop a key. Pick up the key and interact with the gate. Focus down the bomb just in case it wants to explode. Kill everything. First boss time. Snowdrift is a room-wide AoE which you must be moving around if you don't run around, you'll be inflicted with a stacking frozen debuff. If this debuff reaches four, you'll be inflicted with deep freeze, which will give you a dot tick and freeze you in place for several seconds. Then a frost bomb will spawn in. Nuke it down before it has the chance to explode. Cold wave will create medium sized point blank AoEs below everyone but the tank. You can stack these behind the boss and then move out of them. When you get the boss under 30%, it will cast Tundra, which makes the walls of the arena covered in ice. If you run into these walls, it will give you a frozen stack. The boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Now, if you're using the duty support system, I'd highly recommend taking the next few pulls as single pulls. Just be aware that I'm going to explain this next section as if you're in a full party and pulling multiple packs. There'll be a few mobs including two that will drop down in snowballs. Pick these up and travel across the ice bridge picking up the sprites along the way. The blizzard effect on these bridges will give you a dot tick of frostbite so it's best not to stay in these areas. Go to the end of the bridge and grab the bird and the other ice sprites. Just be aware if you get too close to the snow wall it will crumble and reveal another mob. Kill everything. Then pull everything through the next two blizzards until you reach the next wall. Another mob will tumble down in a snowball. Kill everything. When everything's been defeated the wall will crumble and it's second boss time. Buffet is a 120 degree conal AoE. Just move out of the orange. After this it will cast northerlies which creates four snowballs. The Yeti will turn to one of the snowballs and use Icy Wind, which will make the snowball grow larger. The larger the snowball, the larger the AoE. After this, the Yeti will cast Updrift and knock everything into the air. You just need to be away from any larger snowball and make sure you're not super close to any smaller snowball and you should be fine. The boss will move to the middle of the room and cast Spin, which is a point blank AoE from his position, followed by a donut on the outside of the arena. You just need to stand outside the first point blank AoE and then move into it after it goes off to dodge the mechanic. Right after this, the boss will cast Frozen Spike, which gives all players a point blank AoE. Spread out and avoid overlapping these. The next North Elise will have six snowballs instead of four. He will make two snowballs larger which will be on opposite sides of the arena. The safe zones are closer to the wall but still in between the two smaller snowballs. The Yeti will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Head into the icy cave and turn left. There is an ogre and several sprites. Be aware after pulling the sprites they can self-destruct and a medium sized point blank AoE beneath them. When you've defeated everything, enter the alcove. Mobs will spawn in, one group at a time. First up is a few bombs and an ogre. Watch out for the bombs explosion AoEs. Next up is a few spriggans and an alligator. And lastly it's a cyclops. Just avoid the AoEs and the falling ice shards. After the cyclops has been defeated, part of the wall will crumble. Head up this path. The Harriers will cast Dragon's Blood. If they finish this cast, they will regain all of their health and turn into an Avis. The cast is stunnable and you can focus them down if you want to. Kill everything. When the final enemy dies, it will drop a finger of the apostate. Interact with it to pick it up, then move forward and interact with the door to oblivion. Final boss time. Thousand Year Storm is a room-wide AoE. Any avoidable AoE that you get hit by will give you the debuff Deep Freeze, which is where you get a dot tick and get frozen in place for several seconds. Fenrir will then summon four ice shards to fall into the arena. When it starts casting Lunar Cry, you will need to get behind one of the ice shards to avoid the attack. After Lunar Cry goes out, the shards will explode in medium sized AoE. If you don't get behind an ice shard in time, the deep freeze combined with Lunar Cry and the shard exploding will kill you even if you have decent gear. Next up is a tank buster, followed by Fenrir turning to a random party member and casting Heaven's Ward Roar. This is a large conal AoE, so move towards the flank of the boss to dodge it. Fenrir will then summon four more ice shards, but this time three of them will be glowing. Fenrir will then cast Lunar Cry again. You'll need to get behind the shard that isn't glowing as the glowing shards will explode early. From here, the boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Snowcloak. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.